Ladies, get armed. It's time. It's too much out there. Get trained and get armed. Christina Spigner, age 44, gunned down October 23rd, 2023 in Akron, Ohio. She was found shot on the uh, deceased on the driveway. God bless the family. A very caring, loving person, uh, full of energy. Brian and Christina met as teenagers and dated on and off for years. They had a child together, Brian Jr., who is now 15. A happy person, like I said, always glad to be around other people, always had a smile, tried to make people happier. But on Monday night, Christina's life ended tragically on Lansing Road in Akron. She was shot several times, found dead in a driveway. According to police, the man who pulled the trigger was Jonathan DeFour, who had a rocky on and off relationship with Christina. This case could have been domestic, domestic violence. She was murdered by a previous man that she was involved with who recently started a job leasing apartments in Northfield. She was a very caring, loving person, uh, full of energy. Brian and Christina met as teenagers and dated on and off for years. They had a child together, Brian Jr., who is now 15. She was a happy person, like I said, always glad to be around other people, always had a smile, tried to make people happier. But on Monday night, Christina's life ended tragically on Lansing Road in Akron. She was shot several times, found dead in a driveway. According to police, the man who pulled the trigger was Jonathan DeFour, who had a rocky on and off relationship with Christina. Detectives say after the shooting, DeFour went into his home, set it on fire, and shot himself. Stunned neighbors called 911. We thought we heard gunshots at first, but I don't know what it was, but now the house is smoking, there's fire, I could see fire burning. Police say they may never know what led up to the tragedy, but DeFord was found dead inside the burned up home with a gun next to him. Detectives calling the case a murder-suicide. Did she ever indicate to you that she was afraid of him? No. She never told me anything about this guy. Brian is now wondering how something like this could happen and why. As part of the investigation, detectives will examine whether any mental health issues led to the murder-suicide. I've never in a million years expected anything like this to ever happen to her. Brian Jr. says he hasn't had much contact with his mom in recent years and that she struggled with drug addiction. We were all hoping she would, you know, get back to normal, get her life together. And yeah, what happened last night is just really sad and shocking. A sad and shocking chain of events that ended two lives and forever affected the lives of two families and many friends. I don't think there's words I could really describe. I mean, it, it hurt. She was my childhood friend, like, you know, she was my best friend. Ladies, protect yourselves and your families. God bless the victim here. And God bless her family and friends. Dang. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.